green owls. Good evening, salutations. Look what I got. Robert in place. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, this is his new book, I'm pretty sure. Um, I pre ordered it quite, a, quite many moons ago. Quite many moons ago. Does that make sense? Is that English? No. So, I pre ordered this if many moons ago, um, back when I picked up the uh, alchemical tarot, which is divine, and I have been working through his previous book, one of his previous books, I think he has a few, that's, this heavy. I'm unsuspecting of that. Unless there's also decks in here. Uh, beast mode. Okay. Oh my. Did you hear that? Oh my. So his previous book, let me just give you a quick intro, is on my Kindle. History of Symbolism and Divination. Or The Tarot, History of Symbolism and Divination. And this one is The Tarot, Magic, Alchemy, Hermetis, Hermeticism, sorry, and Neoplatonicism. Or Neo, Neoplatism, Platoism. With a guide to the Waitsmith Tarot, the Alchemical Tarot, and the Tarot of the Seventh Fold Mystery. So this covers three tarot decks and all this juiciness. And this is twice as big as I thought it was going to be. It's a bigger format and it's thicker. 680 pages to the Anima Mercury symbol in the back. Look at that moire noir. Ooh, love that. Um, for the most part, as far as I can tell, this is not in color. Which that would have been a nice touch for figuring out the decks. Like there are card comparisons. Hermetic Tarot, Seventh Fold Mysteries, I'm assuming. RWS and a Tarot de Marseille. And an Atella. Oh, this is. Wow. Did you hear the wow? It's not in color, but. And here's a correlation table. I'm just this is uh, going to be a encyclopedic reference book after reading, if I can get through it. Oh, I am. Ba ching This is way. Okay, this is twice as twice as awesome as I thought it was going to be. This is the table of contents. It doesn't appear to be signed. That's a little bummer. I kind of thought it would be signed. I'll look on the back of her. So in his, the previous book I'm working through, um, his he's got Waitsmith. 
So I'm going to compare some of these similar uh, table chapters. Egyptian magic and religion. Um, so the history of tarot seems to broken down. And they have an appendix on the Normand and alchemical symbols. Excellent. And 631 is divination. Let's jump towards the end of the book. We will begin to discuss divination. The word literally means to get in touch with the divine. Derived from divinus. Soothsayer. I forgot that word. I forgot about that word. Soothsayer. Scanning the page, I see the I Ching scrying. Dreams, omens, drawing lots. And there's some uh, card readings in here. Uh, here is a reading called the Seven Soul Centers reading. So it's basically a chakra reading with three cards on each. I saw seven. Here's some. Here's some. Uh, more correspondence charts. Here's an Ule. What does this say? I've never seen this piece before. That's very cool. I have to research that. I have to research everything. So here are card backs for the alchemical edition. First, second, third, fourth. I'm using the fourth edition. I love the backs. Um, none of them are specifically reversible. This was the closest to reversible, but still not. And here's a description of the card backs, what they mean. And the sevenfold of mystery decks, which that is on my wish list. I was waiting for this book to confirm, but I'm pretty sure it's on my list list. Wish list. And we have alchemical symbol. Uh, esoteric. Then we have the Lenormand Burning Serpent Oracle from Rowden Place. And there are the 30, 36 descriptions of that. And then a huge bibliography for more reading pleasure. I kind of thought, I don't know why, pre-ordering this and um, ordering it from his website's specifically that it would have been signed. That's a little bit of a bummer. <clears throat> the production is perfect. Um, the um, binding looks uh, flexible. It's almost lay flat. And I haven't even opened it to read it yet. 
the paper is got a sheen to it, but not too bad. It doesn't reflect. And the print and the line spacing is uh, makes it very readable. Some very awesome imagery in here. Philosopher's hand. And here's a Visconti world card. I mean, it's just. Here's a Jewish letter to Trachis. Okay. So, this will take me until the end of summer to read, probably. Because I, I mostly read print books out by the pool. <laughs> But excellent! Party on! Be happy, be healthy. This is not a review. This is my first impressions. Ciao for now.